right, we're gonna get down to business. We're gonna do some dedicated mobility work now. I'm a big fan of holding weight overhead and squatting it. Nothing will sort your core out better than putting a weight over your head and again, squatting down. The overhead squat is one of my favorite all-time exercises for mobility in the shoulders and core stability. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do five sets of three with the overhead squat. And today, we're honestly just sticking with a light weight. We're using 135. Now, I say that's light. For some people who've never done this movement, they may have a difficult time doing this with an empty barbell, so choose your weight accordingly. This is about form, not about weight. All right, for the overhead squat, you're gonna unrack it from a barbell. You're gonna have it on your shoulders. You're gonna do a jerk to get it overhead. You're gonna dip your knees down, pop that weight overhead, and then you're simply gonna squat down and stand up. And then you've got a choice. You can either lower this back into the rack or drop it. It is time for the strength portion of today's workout, and we are going to do the incline bench press. I absolutely love the bench press, and I do all three versions of it. I do flat, I do decline, and today we are doing incline bench press. We're going to do five sets of three at 80% of your one rep max. This is a go-to strength exercise for me. Why? because at 80%, you're almost always safe. The closer you get to your one rep max, the greater the chance of injury. In the gym, it supports what I do in my life. It's not worth the risk, it's not worth the injury. So I keep it at 80%, I play it safe, but it's still enough of a weight to get a good strength benefit. For the incline press, you're gonna get an incline bench, you're gonna lay back, you're gonna unrack your barbell, you're gonna lower it to your chest and you're gonna to touch your chest and then you're gonna press all the way up. And again, we are doing five sets of three. know your one rep max, it's easy to figure out. Just times it by 80%. If you don't know your one rep max, you don't need to worry. Just use a weight that feels fairly heavy. There's no reason to get overly scientific about this because ideally you're going to do this exercise again and again and again. So the worst thing that happens today, you go a little light. The next time you lift, add a little bit of weight to that barbell and progress. So now we're going to do a workout called 50QR or a portion of the workout we call 50QR. QR stands for quality reps. What you're going to do, you're going to do 50 perfect reps of pull-ups, 50 perfect reps of dips, 50 perfect reps of push-ups. You can do these reps in any order, any set structure. The key is, and let's go back to the name, they have to be quality repetitions. All right, so let's talk about what is a quality pull-up. For the pull-up, first of all, grip. You wanna grip just a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. You wanna pull yourself all the way up to the bar. I like a chest to bar pull-up, why? because I want that elbow to go behind the center line of my body to really build up that pulley musculature. So, every time you pull up, you're gonna to touch your chest to the bar. You're not just gonna sweep your chin over. Boom. And then finally, the bottom. You wanna let yourself out as much as possible, but I don't wanna do a true dead hang where all the stress is on the infrastructure of my shoulder. I wanna make sure I straighten my arms, but keep 
the shoulders activated so the stress is on the musculature and not, again, the infrastructure. So therefore, the total rep is going to look like this. And that is a quality rep of the pull -up. Let's say for 50 QR, you can't do the required amount of pull-ups. There's always a substitution. The classic substitution for the pull-up is the lat pull-down. The rules remain the same. We're gonna do 50 reps and we're gonna keep them as strict as possible. Dips. One of my favorite exercises to build the musculature in the chest, the shoulders, and the triceps. I do love the body weight exercises, and I generally favor them over weighted style of work. So for the dip, you're gonna get your parallel bars. These actually come out on a bit of an angle. I don't care which ones you use, although I find these ones that come out on an angle are a little better if you have bad shoulders. You're gonna prop yourself up, you're gonna lower yourself till the back of your arms or your triceps are parallel to the ground or a little bit lower. And you're gonna come all the way up to full extension. I like range of motion for the dips. Now, if you have a hard time with the range of motion, you can shorten it a little bit. If you've got bad shoulders, I think that a half dip is better than not dipping at all. And if you have a real hard time with the dip, you can always substitute this with the classic bench dip. If you can't do the required amount of dips, the substitute is just the bench dip. You're gonna take a bench, you're gonna put your hands on it, you're gonna lower yourself and lift yourself back up, kind of like a tricep extension. Push up, one of the most cheated exercises in the history of working out, I'm gonna show you what passes for a push-up in my world. Step number one, you want your hands roughly shoulder width apart. I like to put this little L that my forefinger and my thumb make right under my shoulder. I'm gonna keep a extremely tight plank. I don't want any sagging. I don't want my butt in the air like I'm doing dog word down. Finally, range of motion. I want to touch my chest to the ground and I want to press myself all the way up to full extension. So when you string push-ups together, they're going to look like this. For push-ups, there are no substitutions because every single person on this planet needs to be able to do a push-up on their own. So what a great day. We warmed up, we did our mobility, our feel-good exercise, if you will. We did the overhead squat, remember, Nothing sorts your core out like putting a weight overhead and squatting it. We got into the strength portion of the workout. Today we did the incline bench press. And then we did one of my favorite all-time exercise routines, 50 QR. 50 perfect pull-ups, 50 perfect dips, and 50 perfect push-ups. After all that, it's time for a brief cool down and we are done. That's how you train like a Titan. That's how you train like Bobby Maximus.